Hi friends, welcome to 30 inks, 30 days, day three. Uh, I've got my cuppa, so that means that since it's mostly full, my brain is partly empty. I just uh, watered my plants. I don't know if they're doing all right, but we're just kind of like letting them be. But that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about ink. So yesterday, we had Pebble Stone on this clear Quebeco Perkeo. Lovely. Let's look at the dried splat. Up close and personal. It's really fun. Here's this page. It's interesting how it went down. I didn't fill this out like I usually do, but I actually kind of like it. So this is what I usually did. I think this is gonna work okay. That wasn't an intentional, that was just a like, how does this work kind of thing that happened. But that's yesterday, setting it aside. Let's turn the page. Move on to today. Ooh, look at that. Wow, this actually bled slightly. Right there. Okay. To pick today's ink. These are still, I don't have to keep shuffling them every day. I'm not looking through them. And even, like, the stakes are low. So, closing my eyes. This bunch is all stuck together. We'll go with that one. Which is Sailor Yurameku Yoi. That's in here. And it's underneath all this stuff. So uh, I'm going to pull this here and pause once I have found it. Well, I'll unpause once I've found it. Okay, we have found it. This one was from one of the ink flights. Now I've got to pick a pen. Um, the problem with like... Oh my gosh, taking so much time off between doing these is that you forget to say all the things that you are thinking all the time. So if you're participating in 30 Inks on YouTube, please let me know in the comments and I'll link to you. Um, I found a couple people on my own. Um, so I think it was Pause with a Pen and of course Manda. Um, I really like how Manda is setting up her... Um, stuff this month where <clears throat> I kind of wish I had done that I'm trying to think of like what nib size I want that in um, or what pen you know um, the heater was just on and I'm really warm now. I think this is a good match. Sorry, that probably took longer than it needed to. <laughs> so this is my, um, Peyton Street Pens Ranga Miwok 2. I think I replaced the nib so that it is... Yeah, it's a broad nib from Goulet. I realized there was a step I was forgetting that I wanted to do, which is to color in the calendar pages. But I'll do that later. We don't have to do that right now. See, these stickers stick on here. Their new stickers don't stick, and it's, it's frustrating. 
These aren't the kinds of inks that you need to shake, but we'll give it a little roll. Ooh. Okay. Good luck filling it, Maria. Perfect. Perfect. That worked perfectly. It did not work perfectly. Try again. Begin again. <laughs> no. Not fam. Well, feed is saturated. As is part of the section. So we'll just... Put some in here. That's a lot. I forgot until last night that there's another thing I usually do as part of 30 inks, which is, you know, write more by transcribing a book. So I started that, but I'm obviously behind. <laughs> it shouldn't take long for me to catch up. Because I'm only doing a page. Turn the page. Okay, dip. Oh, that was delightful. These inks are fun. I think I actually had this in a pen. I might be mistaken. Zoom you in. Put the cap on so we don't stress ourselves out. And this is um, Sailor Yurimeku Yoi. Um, Payton Street Pins, Ranga, Miwok 2, Bratnib, pretty good, look at it, it's almost dry already, I don't know if the pink sort of things are coming through on there. I like it much better on the Tamoa River paper. If you see it, it's like pinkish gray. And on this paper, it's a more of a greenish gray. Which I suspect this will be like. Some people will be like, oh yeah, that's the perfect color. And then they'll get it on Tamoa River paper and be so disappointed. Let me take a sip of tea. Okay, we have to write basically the same thing on here. No big deal, no big deal. Thirty weeks, thirty days. April twenty twenty three, day three.
This, this pen is ebonite and it still smells like tires. I don't mind. I am once again going to move my tea so that it is nowhere near the splat back. I have to say, I really thank Manda for many things, but most importantly, explaining how she does splats so that I could learn, which is that you put ink in here and then you expel all of it until there's just a little bit left in this area. And that's enough. I'm not as good with splats as her, but she's done many, many more than I have. It's okay. And anyway, comparison is a thief of joy. So, here is day three. Sailor Yuramaku Yoi. And my Miwok too. I'm excited about this. Um, I feel like this is going to be a really great... Uh, day. Uh, and I think as a last matter of business, I'm going to show you the project. So I'm looking through this, or I'm uh, transcribing this book, The Haunted Attic. Um, it's falling apart. So I did this before. This isn't new to us. And this is how far I've gotten with day one. So not too far behind. Just a little. Look at that one. It's beautiful. Uh, at any rate, here we are again with day three. The pen rolled into our splat. Totally cool. Love it when that happens. Um, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope whenever you're seeing this, you're having a wonderful day. And I'll see you again tomorrow for day four. Bye.